Hi everyone, my name is Richard Ramirez. I'm a freelance graphic designer, web designer, blogger, and now a published author. Today I will be sharing with you my experiences in publishing a book. This is one of my books, From Shame to Glory, This is My Story. It's a book, a chapter book, where I discuss or I talk about different testimonies, um, things that I've gone through and things that I've struggled with in my life. And I will explain to you the process of this book as well as the other books. It all started with this book. This is my mother's book, Carira Rivera, and I am the illustrator for this book. Again, Richard Ramirez. My mom asked me to um, illustrate this book and it was a challenging job. I never really did, you know, work like that, but um, it was a wonderful opportunity and I thank God for it. Um, after um, she published her book, she went with um, a, pub a publishing company. Um, I um, did my research and I wind up learning about self-publishing. So as a test run, what I did is I self-published my first book, Adventure in Coney Island Rides. This book is dedicated to my daughter. I went around the neighborhood, took a bunch of photos, and created a story around those photos. And converted them, you know, from photos to um, sketches and, you know, so on and so forth. You know, I did what a graphic designer would do. From there, I went and published 30 Scriptures of Growth. This is a Bible-based verse, Bible-based book. It has a whole bunch of Bible verses that you know have you know I've, I I love, I enjoy, it, and help you out in the growing process as a Christian. I created a note section with this. It's more like a Bible journey, so people can write notes and stuff like that. And this one is Walking with God, a 30-day photo devotional. As you can see, it's a photography book, you know. You can look at the back. As you can see, I did my work in the back also. And these are the pictures that I've um, taken. This is a, a camera that I, I had from the time when I was going to college, almost 10 years ago. I still had the camera and it, I love that camera. It's, it did um, some quality work, even though it's old and technology has advanced, I still love that camera and the picture quality in this came out really, really cool. And my most recent book would be this one. Seasons may change, but in the spring we grow. This is a springtime book. Also, a uh, photography book with Bible verses that I've put together. I carefully matched together these Bible verses with the um, photos. It's all about flowers. It's a great book, you know, for a gift for mothers. I actually did um, publish this right on around Mother's Day. And I dedicated this book to my mom. I don't think she knows that yet. But um, hopefully when she reads the copy or she sees this video, she'll, freak, she'll find out. And in this book, I went further with my design and try to keep it as elegant as possible. As you can see, you know, circle shapes rectangle shapes i try to keep the colors very vivid you know heart shapes you know i put my little design finesse as a graphic designer in this book for any one of these books you can get a copy of them on amazon um dot com or you could also um or um, get them as a kindle these are the paperbacks you can get the kindle version of any one of these books also on Am amazon So there are different type of books. There are photography books, and then there are also chapter books, or picture books and chapter books. This is a chapter book. This is a photography book. All right. Now, if you're gonna do a chapter book, you wanna make sure that you use Microsoft Word, um, or you can try and use um, Google Docs. There are certain file formats and stuff like that that you have to follow. Um, I'll get more into that later on. What I did when it came to my um, photo books is I designed them all in Photoshop. Kept it in one program from beginning to end. I did the cover in Photoshop. 
did all the pages in Photoshop and you know it was a wonderful experience a very well learning experience and something that I can honestly say that you know what I know how to do I know how to get into the um, um, printing publication um, industry when I wrote from shame to glory I did the manuscript in a whole entire week I did it in my, um, Google Docs and I used um, Grammarly to go ahead and take care of the grammars reread it rewrote it at the time I was working a full-time job so I would travel to work just about two hours and travel back home about two hours there were times that I would leave home early for me to go ahead and actually give uh, myself more time to go ahead and write and at that time it was a very crucial time for me to go ahead and write um, something in me just told me to keep writing I was facing a lot of problems a lot of um, you know child struggles you know one of the things that um, I was facing that I was trying to overcome was alcohol addiction um, hence the name from shame to glory this is my story it talks about the the, the events that have happened not every single event you know but some of the events that had happened some actually during that week that was going on with me and some that you know was going, that had, um, had already happened now there's a couple of things you want to consider when it comes to publishing your book one thing you want to consider is your book size um, these books are 5.5 by 8.5 pretty much standard sizes and these books are 8.5 by 8.5 most picture books are um, big square or not big uh, children's books also you know are just about this size and because it's self-publishing with Amazon everything is um, paperback um, is a paper copy there's no hard copies with um, um, Amazon your book sizes um you want to set up if you're using microsoft word or if you're using um google doc you want to set up your book size um if it's a chapter book 5.5 by 8.5 picture books it's a different direction and i'll explain that a little further for now let's just go into the chapter books you also want to make sure that you set up when you go into your page setup um or your um your 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 you have it set up for double space the reason for that being is because you don't want your font all bunched up together and have somebody squinting to go ahead and read your book at least a physical copy so you want to give that the reader the ease of reading by having that double space and you also want to try and keep the font at a reasonable size um, 14 point or you know if you want a large print with 16 60 points those are things you need to consider when it comes to uh putting together your book the most important thing to get started is have your manuscript ready you can always make those changes just before you're ready to print as long as you have your story together and you're 100 percent ready you can make those changes um later on um the, the when it comes to photography book or illustration book you would have a graphic designer or an illustrator go ahead and take care of the pages and i mean the design aspect not the actual page the design aspect so a person like myself i am a graphic designer my mom hired me to go ahead and do her children's book which is in the beginning when god created the heavens and the earth and when i did that book when I designed this book, I had set it up in Photoshop, program that I use, um, 8.5 by 8.5. I did the entire book pretty much in Photoshop and saved every single page, you know, everything as a page. Tedious work, a lot of work, but it was a wonderful opportunity and I actually did learn a lot. The other thing you want to consider is um, bleed and bleed is basically whether or not you want the pages the whole entire um page the photo to go all the way to the edge or no bleed um when i designed this book i didn't know 
how much of a massive massive project it was i literally had to read the script and actually go through every um detail and try and grasp what um the book was about the easier books which are my photography books um my most recent book seasons may change but in the spring we grow um very simple solution i went out every day as i normally do took my camera with me and took a whole bunch of photos of nothing but flower i flowers i already had an idea of what i wanted and the springtime had just started so that was the best time for us for me to go ahead and get the best photo of flowers i walk right i will walk around my neighborhood right now and because of the rain because of the wind or whatever or because of this the scorching sun the flowers are just they don't look as pretty so that was the best time for me to go ahead and go out and take a bunch of photos i gathered all the photos together and selected um 30 to, to 40 of the best ones the ones that i thought that were very very good quality printing and i went did my research gathered all my bible verses um together and you know match everything as best as i can in photoshop i will make a video on that process later on um when you want to get your book cover designed you you can design it two different ways you can have it designed by um yourself or you can have it designed by a graphic designer or you can also use can do um um can do cover creator or yeah yeah can, can do cover creator if you're looking to hire a graphic designer i'm right here you can always reach out to me on my website www.richard-ramirez.com you can drop me an email um i would urge you to take out the time and actually hire somebody to do a, a, a cover for you um you can get somebody to do a cover for you good quality somebody can do a good quality cover at a fairly decent price i charge normally about a hundred dollars to go ahead and, and do a book cover and my turnaround time is usually about you know a day or two um i would recommend it that way because the quality is so much better one of the things you need to consider is um you want people when you when i go into a bookstore when i go into the library and i'm going to go pick up a book or when i'm selecting a book one of the things that has to call my attention is the title and the cover the cover has to convey the message of the title and obviously the title of the book should convey what the book is about those are things that are very 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 important i can't stress how important it is um i um have worked on a few covers not just myself i've worked on covers for my mom um we're getting ready to go do another project she's going to come out with a, um, another a book and we're going to be working on another cover for that book but i would recommend you do that way however if you choose to go with um, um amazon can do um book cover it's very easy you can follow the steps step by step now although i have not made a lot of money off of my books um just practicing the art or the skill of publishing the books and going from the process from beginning to end is enough to give me enough knowledge to be able to understand and also do this video give me the confidence to go ahead and upload a video for you guys i will be doing a video on the book cover um the photo books i can go ahead and do a video on that i'll make sure i have that video out for you guys and you can always go to my website and i will have a link posted with this video um to the um, page where it tells you about more about the um, page um, specifications and the the fonts and the importance of having um, the font at the at the right size and legible. Um, you can always, like I said, you can always go to my website. It's going to have all the information on it. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or any comments, always feel free to go ahead and reach out to me. Like I said, you can always go to my website www.richard-ramirez.com um, I'll, ha I'll have that link in the bottom if you like this video don't forget to like hit the like button hit the notification bell so that way you can be notified about the next upcoming videos and 
check out any of the other videos that I've done. I usually do a lot of artwork videos. That's what I try to focus on. But um, like I said, just thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy. God bless.